You're working hard to build your email list, but some people are unsubscribing. In today's video, I would like to show you how you can reduce your unsubscribe rate. And the solution is email preference page. And I'll show you how to build email preference page specifically in Clavio step by step. So first of all, what is email preference page also known as email uh, preference center? It's a page where people can select what they like to receive from you and what they don't like to receive it for you. So typically when, when I receive emails from people who use Clavio to send out email, this is what I see. So this is a cool brand, Bonito. They have uh, cool images. Uh, they do sell jewelry. Everything is great. And there's might be some things that I would probably improve in their emails, but it's not the point of this video. So as you can see at the end, they have no longer want to receive this email. So they click unsubscribe and it directs me, first of all, to unsubscribe page. But even if they direct me to the preference page instead of unsubscribe pages, this is what uh, I strongly recommend for you to do. So when I click preference page, they don't have anything to update except my last name and my last name is Boychuk. So just update, update preference page. That's it. What we do for our clients and also if you're interested, we can do for you as well. Simply go to flowing.com and schedule a call with our team. This is an example of our campaign that we just sent out uh, one day ago. When you scroll down to the bottom, first of all, there's two options. However, both of those options direct to one page. Even it says unsubscribe, manage pre preference page, they both are directing them to this email preference page. It looks like kind of micro landing page, but basically here we have um, all options, what I want to receive, not receive. So I can click all email from Flowium or I want to have specific uh, specific emails. Also, how often I want to receive email, like once per week or all the emails or snooze all emails for 30 days. Or the last option is unsubscribe. So everything becomes um, like shadow that everything unchecked and I click update preference and it, it will unsubscribe me. So this is a great example of a preference page every brand should have. Why? What, what, what's so important about that? So the first thing is it gives people ability to self-segment them. If you ask them, hey, what would you like to receive? Based on that information, you know what they are interested in. Also, if they want to receive less emails from you, instead of them unsubscribing, they just telling you that you start sending them fewer emails and you still can market to them. Maybe less, but still they are in your database. Second thing, it will reduce this kind of preference page will reduce your unsubscribe rate. And the third thing, it will just improve customer experience. In the first example, as I show you, it was not intuitive. You need just my last name. And so it was not very user friendly. So those three things are the most important. Why each brand needs to have a email preference page. By the way, there's videos that I created like four years ago. They are very old, but they still work where you can customly code uh, those preference pages. And in our company, we customly code those pages because it gives us more ability to make it prettier add more functionality to it. However, recently Clavio released their dra drag and drop builder where you have limited abilities, but still you can do their functional preference page. And I will right now go to my computer and show you step by step tutorial how to build Clavio preference page by using the builder. Okay, so first thing, just log into your Clavio account, click on Lesson Segments. For this video, I'm just creating the new uh, new list just to make it simpler. Okay, so I click on Create Lesson Segment. By the way, you don't have to create a list. I, I'm just doing this for a list for YouTube video. So just as a test, test. Okay, so I just created the list. You don't need to create it. You, you already have a list and select the list you want to modify and click Subscribe. Uh, and preference pages. And there's two options how you can do it. There's like global change and global change how it works. You set it up once and any list in the future you create will uh, that global settings will apply. It will not go back and apply to your previous list, but it will apply to the future list. So if you want to have like your preferences page global, 
uh, click on uh, customize um, preference page in a global settings plus go to all your existing links lists and pick the new preference page okay so in this example we'll be using list preference and preference page builder not not the global one they work the same but the logic is if we create the new list it will not uh, take that preference page and apply it to that new list so we'll do this customize for this list and as you can see there's a bunch of different pages for this list you can customize but we are focusing on preference pages we click edit page and there's uh, as you can see there's different um, boxes so honestly like you do know their email but maybe they want to update it so that's fine first name you probably you might know or don't know it and the last thing is last name i personally believe you don't need to know their last name unless you have something specific requirements also okay so we remove this so we have the preference you know like you can customize it you can change the color if you want let's do something red uh, back come on okay red you can say it um i don't know update your email preference whatever you want to say here you can play with this the look is not as important but what i want to show you with the blocks so here is this your ability to collect information collect information for segmentation let's say uh, what gender they are or who they are shopping for or what they like or you can ask them the some kind of questions something like what kind of emails would you like to get from us and here you can put something like um, newsletter and then you can set sales information i don't know like stuff like that and here you need to do the uh, add value information you will create this one so when they select this it will create the custom property for that specific person and it will live under their profile so we have this information we can also add any other blocks if you want to add image to make it maybe a little bit prettier do i have any let's just select bone <laughs> i don't know why uh, just as example then if you want to add more text maybe some explanations um extra explanation uh, also maybe you want to add a text below like if you want to unsubscribe click click on the link below something like that you know what let me not make my uh, job harder so let's just try to copy and paste so we have email preference so let's do rebuild almost my page from our company flow from flowing email so then like let's do this oops i didn't like it Oop, looks nice first name okay so let's uh possible first name email so we have the full name email address email address then we have a phone number by the way um if you collect phone number here it does not mean that you are able to send them sms messages so this is very important so let's keep sms pick and choose below uh would you like to hear from us and let's do this one and we can do something like uh so what I, we have email email marketing updates promotion and sales then we do what social media updates events webinars and uh, yeah so you have that or you can do even all emails of you okay 
perfect so we have that and the last one frequency so frequency can be only one option because this is multiple choice you can have a few few of them of those but for multiple needs to be single radio button yeah so let's do radio button and let's do email frequency uh, actually i don't like how it says here but let's keep it uh, all emails because it's not self-explanatory like email frequency what does it mean uh once per month once per week by the way like there's <laughs> in marketing snooze and nothing is perfect and the idea is constantly improved. maybe it was perfect like six months ago but it's not like now i'm catching some stuff that needs to be improved so it's it's totally normal it's a progression as long as you progress improve you're totally fine snooze all emails for and learn from your mistakes important days days yeah so we have those so we have this, this, that, and yeah, and from unsupervised, yeah, and maybe you want to have another image if you want uh, at the end, something like this here, and maybe we have another, another, another bond, or maybe you want to put it here, it's up to you. Want to discover how much money your email marketing can actually bring you? If that's the case, let our team of email marketing experts show you how. With our free email marketing audit, we'll conduct a comprehensive analysis of your email marketing efforts, provide you with an action plan, and show you how to effectively segment and convert your audience. Simply go to flowium.com slash audit and book your audit today so this kind of preference page is much better than generic one why it's first of all it collects additional data about your customers second it gives person ability to pick what they want to receive or do not want to receive and the third that it gives them power to decide how many emails they should receive from you. I would like to hear from you if you are using uh, email preference pages for your campaigns or not. So please comment below. If you have any examples or you would like to add something, please comment below. I review and respond to all comments on, on a weekly basis. Thank you and see you next Thursday. Hey, if you're watching this and you like what you see, please hit subscribe and hit the bell because it helps us grow our channel.